appreciate everything. All right, guys, so we're back in our um, part eight or some bullshit like that of the, <laughs> the uh, weather app. So what we're, we basically have two things left to do. We're not gonna do too much styling that if you want to style this the way, the only real user store we have left is to basically make this Fahrenheit and Celsius and clean it up a little bit. And then also we're going to then, based off the temperature, put out a different background. So in this case, um, we're gonna have to change up our, our variables here to do a few things. So the way that I did this was I called this function to fixed. And what to fix is gonna let us do is it's simply going to make sure that we only have two places past the decimal point. So you'll see that our F temperature here is doing that. And then we'll go ahead and do it on C temp as well. Call dot to fixed to two places. Now when we save it, we have 80, 74, and it's 27, 23. So that's that's probably the last bit of code other than maybe concatenating a string on here so that it actually says Celsius or Fahrenheit and it looks kind of nice. So we can go ahead and do that next. Okay guys, so next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up this button to display the Celsius degree and the Fahrenheit degree. So and this you'll see that it's still working. We have it down to two decimal places. Um, we could probably even get that down to one Let's get down to one on both of these. Um, I think it'll look better. No one's going to say 80.74 degrees. All right, so that's working everything. So what we want to do is we just want to add the Celsius. We're going to do this using the hex code. So if you're not sure, like, oh, what are those special characters? How do I get them in there? Just go on W3Schools and you know type in like HTML Unicode, and it should be taken care of for, for you. So in this case. All we have to do is when we output it in our jQuery, for instance, our Fahrenheit temp, we just want to format it so that it inputs some HTML along the way. So uh, in this case, we're just going to put the Fahrenheit, which I put up here. And you know, I don't have any of these memorized, so don't, no judgments. Let's go ahead and save that. And you'll see now we have the Fahrenheit. Maybe we want to put a little bit of a space so that looks better. And then we're going to do the same thing for Celsius. So we're going to go down to Celsius here. To, oop. Probably wanted to do that in the same spot. So F temp. That's good because it displays automatically. So we have to actually do it again right here. So first thing first, let's do our C temp. And this is going to look very similar, but this is basically just going to put a so yeah, here's a little bug. So this works fine. We're gonna put the space. So because I put it on the outside, it only works that one time, and then it loses it. You see? Okay. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put that in for the Fahrenheit one more time. Oops. Excuse me. And that should. Let's see here. In a space, save it one time. And you know what? It seems like, like I have to click this twice because of the way I coded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my statements here so I don't have to go uh, see what the issue is. But it probably has to do with me uh, displaying. Like I could just change the one right there as well because what's going on is it's basically the Boolean's off by one. And so we could change change it there, or we could just do it like so. So you'll see it's actually, it was taking one extra click. But all our, our degrees are working nicely. All that we have left now is to find out what units this wind speed is in, and then we'll change that in a second. 